All right, you guys, it is leg day today. Are you ready? It's no repeats. It is a favorite of your guys's. I know you like to do a no repeat, but we're gonna hit it hard today. I love doing lives. Equipment is gonna be a variety of dumbbells and a bench. Um, so definitely make sure that you have a bench and your weights and then a mat. That's what you're gonna need for this here. How are we feeling? Feeling good today? Are you ready for this? My timer is gonna be set for uh, 40 seconds of effort, 20 seconds of, of um, rest, and then again, it's just one time through. I've got 15 moves using those heavy to moderate weights, and then we're gonna go into a block two, which is gonna be a cardio burn, and then a block three, which is gonna be floor work, so we're gonna be on the ground also. All you gotta do is make sure, if you haven't, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And if you really wanna help me out, hit the join button. It's just a small monthly fee. It does help this channel to keep creating free content. You do get early access to all the new workouts and then you get additional workouts. And then I do ask you guys in that community for um, input on new workouts and also some special member only live workouts. So this is live, or maybe you're watching the recording if you couldn't make the live. We had a little earthquake here in uh, Jersey yesterday. The ground was, I was in the kitchen with my son and the ground started shaking and we looked at each other and we're like, is there like a helicopter above us or something? And then we're like, and then all of a sudden everybody starts texting, oh my gosh, should you feel that? So it was a little shaky today. Um, is audio good? You guys can hear me, you can see me good. I think I'm gonna brighten this up just one notch here just so you guys can make sure you see me. Instagram, you're good. How you guys doing? Make sure you let me know where you're coming in from. We're gonna warm things up, get into the workout. And then once we get into this workout, let me tell you what, we're gonna go right through this, okay? So be ready to be moving that body. I'm gonna try to get you in and out of here in 40 minutes, okay? So let's start the party, the leg party. Legs are great. Now just so you know too, functionality, having strong legs helps you get through life better. Yeah, it does. Seriously, stronger lower body is gonna get you up from the ground, get you down to the ground if you need to, and get you to places where you need to be. Let me just say good morning to some of the members that I know that are live here. Julia, Julie's always here. She's on the uh, in California. Wendy Lee, good to see you. She's in New York. We got everybody here. Yeah, you can feel it, I'm sure, in New York. Shoulders roll back, take a deep breath, set that intention. We're all gonna have an amazing workout today, right? Instagram, YouTube, right? Yeah. Set that intention. The intention starts now. We're gonna start with knees coming up, alternate them. When the knees come up, keep your shoulders rolled back. Really pull that knee toward the chest. We're gonna do a good morning to a sumo squat. So hands behind the head, drop the chest, and then turn the feet out sumo squat. So I'm hinging forward and then dropping low. All right, push the hips back, eyes are up. No need to rush this. And it is gonna be a good morning, isn't it? it sure is. All right, pick a leg. You're gonna start to swing it front to back. Opening up those hips. And it's good to hold on to something here, maybe your wall, maybe a chair. Now, take it out, in, swing it. Watch your space. Come on, open that leg out. All right, we're switching legs. So again, we're gonna swing that leg. I'm just gonna turn this direction, forward to back. And I made sure I pulled out my 30 pound dumbbells today for those squats, right? All right, take it out in, swing it. Now watch my equipment here. You are gonna feel it today. All 
All right, we're gonna do a little hamstring stretch on one leg and then step back, lunge. Sweeping that hamstring, lunge back. Toes up, step back. Now when we go into the strength section, I want you to go for those moderate to heavy weights. Because remember, it's a one and done and we move on. Switch legs, toes up, and step back. We're gonna get ready for a sumo squat is the first movement. I'm gonna be using my 30s and feet will be wide. All right, a little twist in your waist. I'm gonna get my timer ready because this show is a one woman show here. <laughs> I do it all. <sighs> so I got my 30s right here. I'm gonna turn out in that sumo placement, picking up the weight from that bottom spot. We're going in 10 seconds, team. Looks like this. Come up, kind of staying in the mid range. Are you ready? From the bottom, rise up. Now, we wanna get deep into that sumo squat. And again, you don't need to come all the way up. You can stay almost about three-fourths of the way up. Push into your heels. We're going to be using your bench next. we got a Bulgarian lunge. I'm going to leave those weights sitting out here. Bulgarian lunge, foot on your bench, weight down or up, or stay in a lunge. Going in 10 seconds, I'm gonna use my 20s. Pick a leg. I like to start from the bottom and press up here. Now, there's different ways you can do this. You can lean a little more forward, or you could be straight up. I want you really pushing through that front foot. Inhale, lower, exhale, up. And then roll your shoulders back. Brace your waist. And if you don't have the heavier weights, you can always go faster, make the movement smaller. There's ways that you can work it. All right, great job. You can shake it out. Right into the other leg. Start getting into that set position. Foot up on the bench. Again, I like to start at the bottom. Eyes are up. Rise it up. Bulgarian lunges. It's great to isolate the leg and then do things that are different. You know, you can always use a chair. It's a great option. I'm gonna get you ready. We're gonna go back to heavy. Goblet squat is gonna be next. Come on, get that range of motion here. Woo, okay, goblet squat. Holding the weight up, one or two dumbbells. Right, have a little turn out here. Whew. Not as wide as a sumo. I'm gonna go 30s. Up in front. There's your goblet squat. Weight at the chest. Inhale lower, exhale up. again, we want heavy. Huh? Come on. Uh, 
Now listen up, we have an RDL knee on the bench. With your right foot off, left knee on. Knee is a 30. One weight stays out. Watch this movement. Knee on the bench. RDL. Romanian deadlift. All right, one weight. Bring it down to the shoelace. Yeah, I'll show you from the side. Woo! All right, hinge rise up. If you don't have that bench, all right, it's a kickstand RDL. Romanian deadlift. If you have that bench, I'm telling you what, oh my gosh, really feel this. Make sure you feel a stretch in the back of the leg, and you push the hip forward. Inhale, lower. Exhale, you're up. And this just keeps that other side of your body kind of quiet. Great job. I'm gonna switch legs. Knees on the bench. Softness in the standing leg, right? You push the hip back and then you rise up or kickstand your foot. Inhale, take it back. Exhale, bring it forward. Now, if you are taller and you're really off, because I'm not super tall, I'm like five, six. Just do kickstand, all right? If it feels really awkward, do that kickstand RDL. Again, pushing hips back, inhale to lower. Exhale, you're coming up. Kazakh squat, move your bench out of the way. I'm gonna do 20 in each hand. Right, we're gonna shift over to the right, come up center, shift over to the left. Open the feet up, turn the feet out. Drop, come all the way up. So when you drop, chest down slightly, but keep the eyes lifted. Inhale, lower, exhale, up. All right, I come up center, and I drop. Push the hips a little forward, squeeze the butt. Boss up, right? Again, inhale, lower. Exhale, you're up. Get your bench out. We're gonna do a little step up. Work on the control mo movement of this here. Foot on the bench, I have my 20 pound weights. Try not to push off the floor, but come through that front foot. So from the bottom, push on the top leg, the leg on the bench, to rise up, and then just slowly coming down. Chin up. If you need to, weight can be at your shoulder. That feels better for your back. Kind of feels better for my back. Remember, from the bottom, I don't want to, boom, push off like that. I don't. You're going to get more out of this if you just oh, slowly rise up and slowly come down. Because you're gonna get some cardio in a little bit, don't worry. Speaking of that, I didn't start my watch. Huh? Yeah. All right, you're gonna switch. Whew, so somebody's gonna have to give me their calorie count on their watch. I have to do a lot of stuff when I'm live, so sometimes I forget. So remember, you're gonna push to the front foot. Switch your legs. You ready? Three. Two, lower down. Remember when you come up, push through that foot. Rise up. It's gonna activate your glute more. Keep your chin up. And if you're really struggling, hey, go for a lower platform. You can always do a reverse lunge. If you don't have that chair or your knees are sensitive.
I've been lucky in my life. My knees are actually in good shape here. All right, RDL. Romanian deadlift again. This time both legs, heavy weights. Pushing back and rising up. Going in 10 seconds here. So here's what it looks like, right? Push the hips back. Rise up. Shoulders back. Remember, when you push your hips back, look to your knees, and then try to straighten them out as you come forward. Now, we got, we got some lunges coming up, you guys. If it's for some reason you have a little platform, you can use it. I'm just going to use the ground. Make sure you again look to your knees. You don't need to look at me. Super. Right leg stays. I'm just making sure I have space here. Now, you could do an ISO lunge, right? Where your right leg stays. You can stay here. You can move it. You pick it. I'm going to stay ISO lunge. 30s. I'm going to go for 30s. Pushing away from that front foot. Roll your shoulders back. Now again, you could do a moving lunge, right? You could take it forward and back with the back foot. This feels more like a leg press, doesn't it? Inhale, lower, exhale, push away. Super job. Ooh. Right leg, stay with the right leg. I'm gonna keep one weight at the shoulder. Single leg staggered squat. All right, so I step the foot back, kind of heel up. Staggered squat, same leg. Drop, push yourself up. Look at my knee. This knee turns out, light on my toe. Heavy on my right foot. Push back into your hips here. All right, see how low I drop my butt? Dropping it low, keeping my eyes up. If you want more, go to the beat of the music. Let that intensity turn up. Remember, light on your left foot. Don't be heavy there, girl. All right, let's switch legs, left leg. Oh yeah. Ten seconds. Grab your weight. Left leg forward, right leg back, and lunge. I'm gonna start at the bottom. Push away. Inhale, lower, exhale. You are up. It's getting hot in here. How about your home? Pretty soon we can be live outside with you guys. It's coming. We're getting into that stakered squat. Ooh. Listen up, we're gonna do sissy squats. Next position, so I'm gonna line up my weights here for some sissy squats. Get ready for those next. Weight at the shoulder, remember, staggered lunge or squat. Turn that knee out, Michelle, how about you? Yeah. And if you want to go to the beat of the music, go for it. If it's getting heavy, you might have to slow it down. Can you feel it? Now you could always, if you want two rounds, start back at that sumo squat. And you could do two rounds. That would give you a 30 minute strength lower body. 
with a big circuit. All right, sissy squat. Heels are gonna be up. All right, heels are up. One or two down bowels. We're gonna pulse it. I'm gonna do my 130. Oh, my heart rate's up. How about you, 145. Heels are up, sissy squat. All right, dropping, kind of pulsing. We're really gonna challenge ourselves right here. Last movement before we get into that cardio burn. And there is Sparky. He's not gonna be happy. There's something in his bed. See, he wasn't happy. I had something in his bed. He was like, I'm out of here. Come on, eight seconds. You can do this. Nice job. All right, give yourself a little break here. Get that water, because you just did 15 minutes, like pure strength. You need to recover. Take a couple of deep breaths. Woo! Because you're gonna want it. Because the cardio burn is coming up. And I kept it no repeat. So again, everything is a one and done. Clean up your space so you don't hit anything, please. 45 seconds of effort, 15 rest. Use your 15 seconds. We're gonna start with burpees or use squat lunge. I'll give you plenty of options. There's gonna be a lot of jumping, just so you know that. But you will have options. I need some water. And then we're gonna start. Okay, take a deep breath. Let's do it. Oh. Are you breathing heavy too? Because I am. Woo. I'm going to start the song that I wanted to. Burpees. You could do a touchdown, you could do a push up, whatever you want to do. You could just do a jump back, you could jump at the front, at the top. Ready. All the way down, all the way up. I'm gonna bring my chest all the way down to the ground and then jump up at the top. Remember, take your option. You can squat lunge. You could just do lunges. Five seconds. Yeah. Okay, use that 15 seconds here. Squat jump or quick squats. Woo. Remember, squat jumps or quick squats. Ready? Right here. No need to rush them. Drop your butt, eyes up. All right, I could rev the engine here, but I wanna jump. Woo, oh my gosh, right? High knee run. Or you march it out, or you dance, right? It's gonna be knees up, or you march. Ready, go for it, come on. Get them up.
Come on, let's go. Get them up. All right, we got a jump lunge. All right, you get a lunge. Switch. Or you could tap back. You could drop it or not. Your choice. Go for it, though. Drop. All right, plyometrics. Build a different kind of strength in your legs. Working on some type 2 muscle fibers. Those are the powerful ones that sprinters use, power lifters. Keep it going. We are at the top. Seven seconds. Oh, my legs. How about yours? Woo! Drop a squat out in, or just step it out, or just squat. Ready? Hit it. Right, hop it out, hop it in. Keep your eyes lifted, drop your butt. When you touch the floor, keep your chin up. Oh my gosh, cardio burn hitting it now, right? Woo! We're stepping it out. That's the next movement. I know, very similar. Catch your breath. You can even make a sumo. All right, turn it out. Turn it out. You can sweep it. I'm gonna have heels and toes turned out. Okay, right, pinkies touch down. Pointer fingers touch up, or thumbs. Hey, drop your butt. Get there, inhale, exhale, eyes up. All right, this is six of eight. Means you got two more moves, two minutes. All right, you got you for jacks, okay? Or tap, are you ready? Feel the energy. Three seconds. Make them good. Now, remember, that little bit of a hop is actually good for belly fat cellulite. So if impact stuff really hurts you, I'm telling you, trampoline is a great option. And I got you covered for those workouts too. Eight seconds. Okay, sumo. All right, I might hold on to something. Heels are up. I'm gonna pulse. Heels are up. I'm gonna use my wall a little bit here. Turn your knees out. Or you find balance. Hold it. All right, you don't have to go to the beat of the music. I'll go in the middle of my mat here. Heels are up. Shoulders back. Find a rhythm. Find a challenging position here. This is the last movement. And then you get a break. And then we hit the floor.
little shake, huh? Yeah. I feel it with you. Unless you're just watching, right? Then you gotta come back and do it. Whoo. I try to be efficient and effective with your time and safe. All in one workout. Shake it out. Woo. That was eight minutes. You did awesome. Now, we're gonna hit the ground. We got another eight moves. This time, 50 seconds of effort, 10 second transition. Enough time to grab some water here. You're gonna take your right leg, you're gonna side kick, and then a back leg kick. You could do it even with your hands on a bench if you don't wanna be on the ground. All right, let's do this. I'm gonna use the, so this is the leg you're gonna move, which is your right, it is my left. I'm gonna mirror you. I'm gonna be on hands and knees. Remember, side kick, donkey kick up. All right, kick to me, and then push it up to the sky. Out, up. Now, I'm gonna suggest not to use any equipment because it is 50 seconds. So I know some of the crazies wanna put on those ankle weights. Let me tell you what, you're gonna get a better range of motion, prevent injury by not using them. You wanna continue working out? Listen to what I say. Don't just listen, but you gotta create that action. Sometimes I take my opposite hand, reach a little more forward to help me feel more stable. Okay, sit back just a moment. Roll your wrist, turn it around. We got the other side. So you're gonna kick out and then donkey up. Kick out, push up. Find a good rhythm for you. All right, lift your chin off your chest just a little bit. Look out for your hand. After this, we go back to the first leg for a rainbow kick, staying on all four. See, now you've got the sweat coming, right? When we went from that cardio to the floor work. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, so we got rainbow. We're gonna go back to that first leg. We're gonna lift it up. Take it behind and then out to the side. So lift up, back and out. Now remember, you can make it even a straight leg lift if this is too much for you. Right, I could just lift up straight leg. Hey, make it your own. You can even stand up if it's too much for your knees. You don't have to rush this. You're gonna get your core involved here too with these movements on the floor. And you're gonna feel your other leg too, it's a stabilizer. All right, relax. Woo. Okay, we're going to the other side. Take the leg up, take it to the back. To the back, up to the front. All right, you're hitting a lot of the outside of your hip gluteal medial, a little bit of the maximus, your obliques, your transverse abdominals, your erector spinase, there's a lot working here, your low back muscles. Listen to me, we have pretzel coming up, okay, you're going to come on your left hip, you're going to be seated, we're lifting the right leg out to the side. 
So we come onto that left hip, right knee is in line with my hip. I'm gonna lean forward, lift that knee up to the side. Try not to let it come forward, keep it in line. Okay, so I'm here, lift up. If I need to, I can lean a little bit away, but try to bring that knee in line with your hip. And then we really don't want to sink into the leg that's down on the ground. We want to feel like we lift out of it. It's just hard, right? Especially if you've been doing a lot of cardio and core. This place gets tight. Oh. Come on, 20 seconds. Maybe you push it back now. Push the leg back. Can you have your heel higher than your knee? Push the leg back. What are you thinking? Are you thinking how much you love me? I love you. All right, sweet around, other side. Woo, all right, remember, alignment. Knee, it can be a little bit forward, it's gonna happen. And then we lift up. And again, I'm trying to have my heel higher than my knee. Hey, check out my bar workouts. I like to do the pretzel in the bar. Now, the worst thing that you can do is sit here and look at your leg the whole time. Try to turn your eye gaze forward and lift all your hips. Yeah, relax your shoulders. All right, you ready to push it back? Hold it up, push it back. Woo! Okay, you don't, again, you don't need to look at your leg. It should do what you tell it to do with your head, right? And think about that. It should do, like your body should do what you tell it to do. So if you tell yourself you're, you're horrible, you look horrible, what do you think it's gonna do to you? All right, relax. Woo, come on your back. Oh, that's food for thought, right? Front leg stays down, back leg is up. Hip lift, small, tuck under. Now, I know some people like to do this, right? Put their foot on their knee. Okay, that's okay, but I'm gonna tell you what, it's a little bit harder if you have your leg lifted or the leg is at knee height. That is harder. Why waste your time? All right, we only do it once. Tuck under, come on. You could even have the arms up, makes it harder. Remember, I'm just doing a small tuck. Use your core for this movement too. Oh my gosh, I am sweating. Man, we just banged out this. This went by so fast. All right, hug it in for a moment. We're switching legs. You guys are good though? Get ready to flood the comments though, you guys. Tuck under. All right, I gave you a workout. All I want you to give for me is thumbs up, comments, and subscribe. That's all I ask for. I want to be connected to my community, so it takes communication in the community, right? So stay communicating with me. I love seeing you guys. And what's great is I've met a, like a lot of you guys. I've had opportunities to travel and see some of you. I've already got it in the schedule to see Jordana. Again, I've seen her like three times. That's why you need to tell me where you're from. Come on, let's do this. Oh, hug it in. That is it. Nice job. Woo, all right. Yay for you. You should celebrate that win. I want to make sure I didn't forget anything. I did forget one, did I? No, I did not. Oh, you are up. Woo. Yes. All right, I'm going to towel off a little bit here. And I'm going to wait for some of those comments. So you better start throwing them in here. Instagram, YouTube. Woo. All right, so I did not calculate the whole workout. I only got like the last 25 minutes of it. So it says here like total calories 182. So that was around a 300 some calorie um, workout, 350, could be up to 400. So remember, those are just numbers. So is your body weight. Your body weight is just a number. It just gives you feedback, right? 
there is a fear. Women have a fear like this number. It does not make you who you are. And if that's the way you think, like I just said about like, your body should do what you tell it to do, right? So when you tell your body, you know, this looks bad, I'm no good at this, that happens. So tell yourself, I'm great, right? And then just do things that get you to your greatness because you have it in you. All right, get that water and then we're gonna stretch. Man, we nailed that under 40 minutes, you guys. That's what's nice when we go live. I try to make sure that I'm efficient and effective with your time because I am the same way, right? I only have so much time. And then you can focus on other things that are important in your life that get you to where you want to be. The workout's just one section of it, right? It's all the other things you do in your life. Whew. All right, let's start chilling it out. Come back to the ground. Yeah, I know, I am sweating too. I think I need to have my towel underneath me, on my back. Hug your knees into your chest. Now remember, your breath is so powerful. Use it, focus on it right now. Let it take you from that high energy state to a calm energy state. Hug your right knee into your chest. Let your left leg fall to the ground, elbows out to the side as you bring the knee in. Hamstring stretch, leg is up to the ceiling, grab behind that calf and then circle your ankle. And circle the other way. When you're looking at fat loss, a combination of strength and cardio is so important. Pull it into, when we do too much cardio, it can actually eat all that muscle that you've been working so hard for. Muscle gives you longevity, keeps you moving through life. You can do things with more ease. Knee back into the chest, drop it across the body. Muscle is hard to keep. You gotta keep making sure you do your strength training. Eat your protein, get your sleep. All right, we're gonna grab on the inside of that foot. Maybe you can't, if you have a strap, you always can. You can grab the, I'm grabbing on the top of the toe, opening the leg out to the side. Because women, you know what, we have some tight hips and that can inhibit your back, your knees. Guys too, they have tight hips. My boys, they have tight hips. And all of the athletic trainers say, keep those hips loose. Mobility is the key to longevity along with muscle mass, fluidity, injury prevention. All right, take it back in. Figure four, stay on that leg. We worked your glutes. And if you don't know me yet, I do like to take a little more extra time to stretch. So I understand if you have to go, but always remember, take time even at the end of your day, right? Maybe it's after the workout, hours after the workout, do some stretching. All right, let it go. Relax for a minute. Butterfly for just a moment. Feet together, knees open. All right, let's hug your back leg in, knee into the chest, elbows out. And then straighten the leg, hamstring, roll the ankle. Get a good range of motion with that ankle. And reverse it. Ankle mobility helps you if you're gonna fall, hey. No one's getting younger. Even if you have kids, right? Tripping and falling is easy over those little feet or your little dogs, if you have little dogs. All right, knee back into the chest, drop it across, rotate. Yeah, you can always think about fitness too, is about functionality. What does it help you with in your day? 
just think if you didn't have that component of fitness, mobility, flexibility, cardiovascular, strength, things would be so much harder in your life. So when you struggle to do a workout, think about how it's gonna help you. It's gonna make you feel good, confident. All right, back in, let's go to the outs, inside of the foot, to open it up. So if you start thinking about all the good things versus like, oh my God, I gotta sweat, it's so hard. That's gonna detour you, right? We wanna put you on the right path of mindfulness, consistency, habits. Because I tell you what, when your frequency is high, you're at that high vibe, I'm telling you what, people wanna be around you. They're gonna be asking you, what are you on, right? All right, bring it on in. Figure four, they're gonna want what you have. It all start, starts with your belief, your mindset, and your consistency. All right, feet go down, we're gonna bridge it up. I hope you feel like when you come and work out with me that I really try to make sure you feel like, I, I do, I care about where you are, not just the workout. Lift your hips up with where your mindset is because that, my gosh, that is what can make and break you. Reach the arms up, reach them back. Slowly lower the hips, lower the arms by your side. Lengthen the legs. We need a moment here, just a little <sighs> Shavasana. This is what I like to do if I have to go for a long drive. Wherever I get to the destination, I usually just lie down on the ground. It's even great to lie down on the grass, the beach, and get grounded. There's like this energy, right? This flow of energy. I'm not gonna get all foo-foo on you, okay? Don't worry. Tap into how you feel. And then you're gonna hug the knees into the chest. Eyes are open, look to those knees. Grab underneath the knees, rock yourself on up. Ooh, all right, the longest part was the stretching, right? I enjoy that, I hope you do too. Roll the shoulders back, have a big inhale here, reach it out, reach it up. Ooh, reach it back. I got a little dizzy there. Pull it into that heart of yours. Take a big inhale, having oh, love for this body, all that it's doing for you to keep you alive. One more deep breath, because I got a little wordy there, right? And let it out. Oh my gosh, yay for you, right? You need to do that, like woo, yay for me. I just made an awesome workout and I cheered you on, right? That's all that I wanna do. I'm always here for you guys, cheering you on to be your best, right? So that's all you gotta do. Hey, comment below where you're coming from, what you enjoy. If you haven't, hit the subscribe button and the bell. You want more, make sure you click that join button here on YouTube. Again, it does help me out. Oh, get ready, I'm gonna be live in about two more weeks. If you wanna know when the lives are coming ahead of time, you need to. Wait, I only have like a handful of thousands of people in my newsletter, and I got almost 200,000 subscribers. You need to go to michellebreeler.com and sign up for the newsletter. It gives you what we are doing for the week, what we're doing for the whole month. You get the whole month calendar that shows you when the lives are, and then you also get to see some of the playlists that you may not be seeing. So there might be a playlist there that you're like, oh my gosh, I need to be doing those workouts from that playlist. And sometimes they throw in a special sale so you can get something else, maybe a trampoline, maybe some supplements, things that I feel create value in your life. All right, you guys, thank you so much. If you enjoyed that workout, again, make sure, comment below, thumb it up, and I'll see you back on this mat. Thank you, members, for being here. I really appreciate you guys. Virginia, good to I know Virginia, she loves leg day, right? Some women don't like leg day. I don't know about you guys, but legs are super important, right? These are the foundation of our body and they keep us moving. And the other thing that legs are good for is that they're big burners, right? How about you guys on Instagram? Good to see you guys. I know I didn't, I have to get a new holder for my iPad. The placement was a little different than last week. 
I am going to try to make sure I go live on Instagram along with YouTube so that there's that option um, that you can see them there. But the highest quality is going to definitely be on YouTube. So if you're on Instagram, you can always come over to YouTube. Aaron. Okay, you guys, you guys need to know Aaron. Aaron Reinhardt. <laughs> I love you, Erin. She brought me into her home with my whole fam family. I spoke about her last weekend, too. She's from Ohio. Ohio in the house. Um, we probably will be there to see you again. Anna, good to have you. There's a lot of people. I mean, I don't think you guys realize how many people, not that I've seen a ton of you guys, but I've actually stayed at one of the, um, someone's home before. <laughs> so I love it when I can be a part of you guys, your life, too. And Great workout, yes, Ohio in the house. I know Virginia's like, I love to do lower body because sometimes yeah, Carol was in the house. Carol was in my house literally this week. Carol, good to have you. Do you think, um, you know who was in my house yesterday? It was I bring people in all the time. Catherine was in my house yesterday. Carol, Sparky loves you, but for some reason, Sparky loves Catherine. <laughs> I'll have to share a picture of, we're, we were on the trampolines and Sparky never jumps on the trampoline and he jumped up on the trampoline with Catherine. Like, he's never done that before. I was like, wow, somebody loves you, Catherine. California in the house. Susan, good to have you in here. Rhonda, good to see all my members. All my members are the ones that have the, I, I may only get to see member comments. I think that's what I have turned on here. Do No, maybe not. All right. Members always have the little colors by their names, and they get to have special emojis. So again, if you want that. All right, you guys, I'm out of here. It is uh, 9.55 my time. So here's what I like to do, too. And I don't know if you guys like this, but I, sometimes we take the video, and we edit it, and then we add the timer to it. So sometimes that's really nice when you come back to it, that the timer's there, then you see how much time is in it. And then I sometimes edit out me talking. And then it's, uh, although this workout, I didn't really talk much, except for now, because, you know, it's at the end. We're done. Um, so remember that. You can always come back and do the workout. And if you want to, I break it into sections so that you can always redo. If you want to do the strength twice, you could do the strength twice. Okay, that is it. Angie, good to have you. You're welcome, Julie. Good, good to have you guys, Julie. Julie, one day we need to meet up. Julie needs to come to the driveway. Your legs are shaking, Susan. <laughs> yeah, sweaty goodness. You know what makes it sweaty? Here's the, here's the trick, Group X instructors. You hit them with the strength, and then you have them do a little burst of cardio, and then you bring them down again, right? So you get this like kind of like build, build, and then you bring them down, but it still stays up there, right? It's called that epoch, you know, so it's just knowledge. Knowledge is power only if you use it. Okay, you guys, I am out of here. You have an awesome Saturday, and I'll see you back in the next workout. Again, I'm going to be live. I think I already have the schedule in maybe like two weeks. Um, I think we've got basketball next weekend. I do know I'm going to be in Pittsburgh soon. <clears throat> and then where else are we going to be? I know I'm going to be in, in Massachusetts. <laughs> this is for basketball. For some reason, I think we're supposed to be in Indiana, but I don't think I'm going to go to Indiana. All right, you guys, you have an awesome day. Thank you, Instagram. You guys have an awesome day. Thank you, YouTube fans. Thank you, team. Thank you, my MB Strong Squad, for being here, too. I know some of you are in the house. And I will see you back at the next workout. I love you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.